Cyprus, the third largest island in the Mediterranean, a golden green leaf cast into the eastern cove of the sea. Cyprus, the beautiful island of Aphrodite, goddess of beauty and love. It's a mosaic of nature and civilization, all tucked up into one little warm and hospitable island, offering a multifaceted quality experience to the visitor. Its geographical position, a meeting point of three continents, Europe, Asia and Africa, makes it an important junction for communications. The first signs of life are documented on Cyprus in the 10th millennium, near the rugged rocky coastline of the Aedogremnos area on the southern cape, not far from Limassol. Bones of dwarf hippos as well as elephants were found. The first signs of human life are found in the 9th millennium. Of all the Neolithic settlements, Hirokitia is the most well known. During the early period of life in Hirokitia, people used stone to make pots, statuettes, tools and weapons. In later periods, Cypriots started making clay pots. Since 1998, the Hirokitia archaeological site has been declared part of the UNESCO World Cultural Heritage. In the third millennium, a major event defined the future history of ancient Cypriots. They began using the revolutionary technology of metallurgy, making bronze objects by mixing copper and tin. During the same period, Cypriots became very skillful potters, using the same clay to make statuettes. When around 1400 BC, after the fall of Knossos in Crete, the Mycenaean Greeks dominated in the Aegean Sea and the Eastern Mediterranean as merchants, an impressive amount of Mycenaean pottery was imported to Cyprus. In the 13th century, important novelties were introduced in the technique of metallurgy attributed to Mycenaean Greek technicians who settled on the island. An important landmark in ancient Cypriot history is the settlement of large numbers of Greek-speaking peoples from the Greek mainland during the 11th century BC. Cyprus was Hellenicized. Just one indication of the wealth enjoyed by Cypriots in the 8th and 7th centuries is this ivory furniture from the Salamis necropolis. The ancient clay sculptures reflect a purely Cypriot idiom. It's the time when the great sanctuaries flourish on the island and the faithful Cypriots rush to offer dedicatory statuettes to the gods. The 6th century saw the start of the island's monetary economy. Cypriot kings minted their own coins, marked with the different emblems of each kingdom. During the classical era, Cypriots began worshipping the gods of the Greek pantheon, such as Zeus, the deified Hercules and others. At the same time, the exquisite ceramics of Attica were being imported in great quantities. An impressive architectural example of the Hellenistic period are the so-called Tombs of the Kings, reflecting the wealth and technical expertise that had been developed. Paphos, which remained the capital during the Roman period, grew into a major economic and cultural center and one of the most important centers for mosaics in the whole of the Roman world. In 1980, the archaeological site of Paphos, which includes the mosaic floors, was declared a World Cultural Heritage Site by UNESCO. In 45 AD, the apostles Paul and Barnabas preached the gospel on the island, and in the centuries that followed, Christianity became firmly established. During the Third Crusade, English King Richard the Lionheart conquered Cyprus on his way to Jerusalem and also married his fiancée, Berengaria of Navarra. The next years marked the beginning of Frankish rule, during which Nicosia and Famagusta were adorned with fabulous medieval monuments. Queen Ekaterini Cornaro, a native of Venice, 
brought about the end of the Frankish rule, ceding her crown to the Republic of Venice in 1489. Seeing the Ottoman noose tightening around Cyprus, the Venetians decided to improve the island's defences, but all in vain. The Ottomans first took Nicosia and then besieged Famagusta. The city was defended for many months by one of the most renowned Venetian officers, Marco Antonio Bragadino. Despite the fact that Bragadino had agreed to surrender the city, he suffered a horrible death at the hands of the Turks. The Ottoman period was one of poverty, with the local population being persecuted. In 1878, the Sultan handed over Cyprus's rule to the British, while in 1960, the island was declared an independent republic. As a result of the Turkish invasion of 1974, Nicosia remains the last divided capital in Europe. Since May 2004, Cyprus is a member of the European Union. The birth of the Republic of Cyprus was a landmark for every form of spiritual creation, inspired by the land, the people and modern society. Theatre, as a purely performance art, rapidly developed into a source of both entertainment and education to the wider public. Cinema needing sound technical infrastructure in order to be expressed is no less creative. Cyprus gains a reputation as an ideal place for filming because of its climate, its landscape and the good infrastructure services offered. A variety of documentaries record beauty, history, monuments and the people of the island. Cypriots prefer to organize their cultural events in historical buildings and monuments. The Cypriots' love of dancing becomes evident through the many dancing schools operating on the island as well as through professional performances. The island also has many different kinds of museums. In the archaeological museums of Nicosia, Limassol, Larnaca and Paphos, one can travel through the course of life from the Neolithic to the Roman years. Nicosia is the only city in Cyprus with a museum dedicated to its history, a city museum, the Levention Municipal Museum. The Byzantine Museum of Nicosia is particularly fascinating with portable icons, de-walled frescoes and other exhibits. Cypriots have a very developed sense of religious faith, with countless churches as well as many and rich monasteries existing throughout the island, most of which are dedicated to the Virgin Mary. On the forested hills of the Trodos mountain range, 
One can visit, among others, the ten fresco churches which UNESCO has included on its World Cultural Heritage List. Despite the fact that Cyprus has long been on the path of modernization, affection for handmade objects is still widespread. Rich and multifaceted folk civilization, mirroring a world that has almost faded into oblivion, is presented to the visitor at the Ethnological Museum of Nicosia and the folk museums of Yaroskipu, Avgoru, and Verinya, as well as many others. Despite the widespread urbanization of the Cypriot village, buildings with traditional architecture can still be found. Some of them have been transformed into agro-tourism hostels with all the modern facilities. The visitor can get a first-hand experience of life in the village and enjoy its beauty. Cypriot eating habits are basically organized around the religious landmarks of the year. 40 days before Christmas, 50 days before Easter and the first 15 days in August, most Cypriots enter a period of fasting. Their diet during this time consists of various pulses, one of the main products of the island, as well as vegetables, either raw or boiled, and fish. One of the most popular dishes is the souvla, the traditional barbecued lamb, along with afeya made with marinated pork and dipped in red wine and coriander. There's also moussaka and baragemistan made with tomatoes, courgettes, aubergines and peppers, hollowed out and stuffed with rice and minced meat all accompanied by local red wine. Meze is the name given to a rich combination of dishes offered in restaurants and taverns. Some of the most characteristic meze are grilled halloumi, a Cyprus cheese, lunza and traditional Cypriot sausages. In this beautiful landscape named Petra Turonyu, tradition says that Aphrodite, the goddess of beauty and love, the goddess of Cyprus was born out of the waves. Her footsteps are felt in every corner of this picturesque island. Cyprus, a small island with a multifaceted civilization, steeped in history and folklore, going back almost 10 millennia. Cyprus, the southernmost center of Hellenism and the eastern border of a united Europe.